See where they, they found Bigfoot dead. Apparently, he was a normal human being that ate a lot of GMO foods. What did he die of? Well, it says here he, he apparently was stung by the last remaining honeybee on the planet. And it's here on the internet, so I think it's got to be true. Now, I'm, I'm being a little bit silly, and this is Rick Brandenburg for Turf Bugs and Rock and Roll. But we all know that we can find almost anything on the internet. And, and this has truly become the age of, of misinformation. And, you know, we really saw it in the, in the recent political campaign here in the, in the U.S. And this fake news continues. And sometimes it can be a real problem of sorting through the, the real truth versus a, a lot of the garbage that's just on the internet. So I'm going to do a, a quick two-part series on getting information from the internet and, and how we can be a little more sure of, of the information we've got. And one of the problems is all of us as human beings, we, we want to be correct. We want to be right. We want to win the arguments. And there's a tendency, and, and this is true for all of us, we search for information that supports our argument. And we don't really care sometimes if it's true or not. We just want it to support our side because we want to win. But that's a, a real issue. And so I want to talk about on the front end the information that, that we read. How do we know what's true? And I made a few notes here. And one thing you need to do is pay attention to the domain or the URL. Where's it coming from? Uh, you can go to www.abcnews.com, and that's a real news source from ABC News. Or you can go to abc.com.co, and that's not ABC News. So look at the URL. Um, another one, go to that, the particular website you're on and, and look at the About Us. Uh, section of their, of their web page and see what they are. Are they some political organization? Are they some organization with an agenda? Uh, is it truly a, a reputable news source? Uh, another one is, is that if they use images, you can actually do a, re a reverse search on the image and see what the source was, whether it came from a reliable source or something like that. And if you see a, a particular image showing up all over the internet, it, that really adds suspicion to it. Um, another thing you can do is uh, really look down in the comments section when you see an article and if there's a lot of people just refuting it and saying, look, this is not true, it's fake, it's this or that, there's a good chance it is. And of course a lot of people go to places like Snopes and that sort of thing, but you know, I've seen information even on Snopes that uh, hasn't always been accurate. So be really careful about that. And always be careful. I mean, I know we, we sometimes see some articles that we really like on, on websites such as The Onion. The Onion is satire. Please always remember that, even if they give the greatest article that supports your environment. Please make sure you do that. So always make sure as best you can validate, validate your source before you use it in, in a manner to support your opinion or your ideas. And uh, just be careful about that. So that's information uh, coming in. Be really careful that you're a reliable source. Hopefully all information you get from universities or academicians uh, is somewhat reliable based on research. In the next video, I'll talk about the information you send out and how you can make sure you do a good job on that. Look forward to seeing you again soon.